And the story is titled, I Need a Hug, narrated and written by me. I need a hug. I'm sad and alone. No one knows I exist. If I were to die right now, no one would care. My friends will go on without me. <laughs> Silly me. I don't have friends. They're just people I know. They don't know me. No one knows me. Not even myself. Why? Why do I torture myself like this? People want to help, but I push them away. I don't tell anyone anything. I'm forgetful, lazy, an asshole. I wish... I wish I was dead. So I wouldn't be a burden to them. I was on the brink of ending it all. Until one day, she appeared. This woman was a beautiful goddess whose hair was more black than space itself. Her eyes more blue than the ocean. Her skin as smooth and soft as silk. Her fragrance was that of vanilla and roses. And her voice so soothing that hearing her felt like an out-of-body experience. Even her figure was right. Not much on the top, not much on the bottom. She was a perfect one. She was kind to people, plants, animals, to everything and everyone. It was to my surprise that she wasn't taken. Out of all the mortals, no one was willing to talk to her, even though she accepted anyone I was still shocked, nonetheless, but I was hopeful. As she sat down, I, I don't know what came over me, but I approached her. Everyone was staring, my heart was pumping so fast, I felt that I would burst out at any point of time, until I was in front of her. She was even more beautiful up close. I stood there wondering what to say until I said that ever so famous word I not to my knowledge that would change my life forever I started talking to her but she started talking to me, and we started to get to know each other. As we talked more and more, our bonds started getting deeper and deeper. I felt like something was changing. It, it was me. I felt like angels were lifting me from a deep chasm that I never, ever would have been able to get out of. And it showed. I started talking to people. They started talking to me. I started eating better, going outside more, getting more exercise, just generally feeling better. In what seemed like an eternity, I was happy. A feat no one else before could accomplish, except one other person, but no, it's not possible. They aren't with us anymore. I was hoping this would an end, but I was wrong. Dead. After a while, I started to notice the woman herself started to change. Everything seemed fine, but something was off. I asked her. I asked her if there was something wrong, because if there is something troubling you, I can help. She then responded with. Fine, and there's nothing to worry about. After her response, I did one of the biggest, if not the biggest, mistake of my entire life. I took her word for it. Slowly but surely, we started to see each other less and less and less. I started to get worried, and then suddenly, I saw her again. 
I walked up to her and asked why she had been so distant lately. Her response struck like a bullet piercing my heart. She said that she was leaving. I quickly asked, why? Is it, is it me? Is it because I did something wrong? Is there something about me you don't like because I, I can change for you. I, I can. As tears started flowing from my eyes, she interrupted and said, No, it's not you. You're perfect just the way you are, and always have been. I'm leaving because it's something that I must do. I dropped down to my knees, tears running down my face. No, 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 please, please don't leave me. I, I, I don't know what I would do without you. Shh, don't, don't cry, she interrupted as she wiped the tears from my face. And don't worry, I will always be there for you. And don't forget, you have all these people here for you. Please, please don't let all your work go to waste just because I'm leaving. Will I ever see you again? I asked, while wiping away the remaining tears on my face. Maybe if I ever get a chance, I'll come by a visit. All right, see you soon, I hope. I said as she was leaving, and just like that, she was gone, as she appeared. I felt lost, alone, abandoned. I felt the old sensations creeping up on me, my vision getting darker, darker, yet darker. Anxiety, depression, fear. All of my feelings that I had forgotten are starting to appear again. Is this it? I thought to myself as I was reverting back to the way I was originally was. Until I felt something. A touch. I didn't know what to do. That's when someone came and sat beside me. Don't worry. We're all here for you, they said. I looked around and saw all of my friends I had made. Something came over me and I started to cry. Not tears of sadness, but tears of joy. Pure and utter joy. Thank you. This, this is what I needed. And just like that, all of the anxiety, depression, and fear all went away. Time went by. months without a sign of her but I wasn't sad she helped me make friends that will last a lifetime even without her here I still felt amazing but not whole I couldn't put my finger on it but it felt like there was a hole in not my heart but my soul months went by and I couldn't shake the feeling all felt lost until someone appeared. I noticed them one day in the corner, alone, away from everyone. They seemed sad, lonely, and borderline depressed with no way out. I had a feeling. I felt wrong if I tried to pay no attention to them. So with this in my mind, I did what the only sensible to me I walked over, sat beside her, and said the famous word, Hi. I don't know what happened, but after saying this one word to her, it felt like the hole in my soul was filled, like I had done something right. To my pleasant surprise, she said hi back. With her response, I had a feeling like I had known her for my whole life. Even though I just met her, there just seems to be something familiar about this. One particular person that I can't seem to grasp, but all in all, it feels nice to talk to her. Like, I want this feeling to last forever.